Welcome everybody to the third event in the NPC Olympics contender rounds. We are here with a 1v1 best of three NPC versus NPC. That is right. We have a mod in here called NPC Combat made by my boy Reb. Check out his mod. He's got a mod it's called Reb's Mod. And uh, you know, he's in the Discord. You can find him in the Gamers Discord. But thanks to him, we are able to put NPCs against each other and make them fight to the death. Now, we got our little uh, Smash Bros type arena here and it's gonna be a 1v1 best of three and then whoever you know the group that wins that moves on to the next round where they'll go against each other uh best of three and then obviously the two finalists will go to the end but we're gonna put the two finalists against each other and see which one of them win let's get to it one more thing though before we get started i am using these invisible blocks from the chromie key wall mod and uh, these things obviously they're invisible blocks you can stand on them but the chromie key wall mod adds in chroma key walls look at that blue screens green screens red screens white screens yellow screens i use these for thumbnails most of the time you can also use them obviously for green screen stuff but uh yeah pretty dope and also i know people are gonna ask the pipe right here is from builders plus this right here from furniture food fun let's get to our first round all right so for our first round here we have the cobbler npc from thorium and we got the diver man npc also from thorium let's put it to the test you know i try my best to keep projectiles against projectiles and melee against melee there's actually not too many you know melee attackers so let's see it round one match one best of three three two one begin now both these guys have very strong melee attacks and they can knock each other off and it looks like diver man did not even put up a fight just gets knocked into the lava pit below match one goes to the cobbler all right we're moving on to the second match here or second round i feel like i'm flipping things around but hopefully the diver actually attacks i've noticed something where npcs attack themselves somehow i don't get how that works but let's do it three two one round two match two whatever oh both starting off shooting diver man hits himself it's gonna it's looking like the same ending oh my god you hate to see it you hate to see it one of the most i don't know what i was gonna say <laughs> we have our next matchup here the cyborg versus the painter now these two when i was testing all these npcs i tested against each other they were even so if anything happens in this where one seems stronger than the other oh well i tested at least 10 rounds against each npc i do do testing do not think that i just record these videos without any testing i do testing i do research i ask people questions and stuff like that so if anything happens during the video it just happens oh well i can't i can't control it let's begin match two round one i think that sounds better cyborg versus painter begin now both these guys obviously both projectile guys the cyborg actually has two forms of attack that not being his greatest attack unless the painter literally walks into it now i tried to make the arena short enough to where they don't run and hide from each other the painter getting destroyed cyborg laying out a barrage but the painter coming back that paintball gun is insanely powerful but the cyborg showing why he's the one with the robotic parts okay i spoke too soon oh <laughs> yo that that was kind of an intense fight that was like perfectly matched but the cyborg did die first round one goes to the painter i'll try my best to remember to switch what side they're on but sometimes like i said npcs will hit each other hit themselves i don't know if i said that actually npcs hit themselves with their projectiles sometimes i don't know why but uh, let's go round two match two no match two round two there we go begin very oh you can see me very even fight last time but i'm thinking that the cyborg is way stronger than the painter it's just the cyborg those little like balls he drops in the homo uh just weren't hitting him but this time they're hitting him oh they're hitting him and he's out of here i don't even get to see it because i hit the wrong button but he died like right here oh i didn't mean to do that. this is our first match going to a third and final round this is winner takes all here we go painter versus cyborg begin again because this is the third time they're fighting now, I was going to add more traps and stuff, but uh, we'll see in the future, man. It was kind of hard to add traps and not have the NPCs just start doing stupid stuff because the NPCs are really stupid and they do stupid things. But the cyborg is very close to death. If he can just keep the range, he can pull this win out. And he does. The cyborg using that nanotech technology. Did I say that right? What a genius. You think he has a nanotech penis? <laughs> Our third round. Wait, am I saying that right? Our third matchup here. Weapon Master versus the Druid. These two were very even when I were testing them. But let's see. Let's put it to that actual test where it matters the most. The video. Round one, begin. We're starting with a stare off. Oh, and she fires her first attack. These both 
you got range projectiles what do you expect you know most mp oh and she's out of here in the lava the weapon master taking the fast round one i thought they were gonna have a fight just like the cyborg and painter but the weapon master said fuck you bitch moving on to the second round of the third matchup begin we're just hopping straight in and we're gonna focus on the fight and not talk about random things oh oh my god the weapon master you must have some insane knockback on those demon what are they called whatever those things are called demon pitchfork good job weapon master now i kill you do i got a matchup for you guys we got rattles magoo of course and we got the stylist now you may see that we have a projectile user versus a melee user don't say i never did anything for rattles ready set go now i expect obviously rattles to win this and i expect them to probably stand here for a couple of minutes because sometimes that's what npc ai does but do they stand there for too long i'm gonna resummon in one of them and i just hope that they start fighting each other whatever they're looking at must be really really interesting hey maybe they're looking at terry other world okay so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drop rattles in okay and then i'm gonna try and just summon in the stylus see if that works no i tested these two they they did this a lot these two specifically did this a lot but they did also fight sometimes so maybe if i do this there we go we got a fight brewing that sounds like i'm, I'm playing cuphead but yeah she is a melee user she could knock in rattles no problem and that's exactly what she does uh i don't know what to say about rattles he, he's a projectile user okay hopefully this works i have one in the box and one on the floor most of the time i summon in rattles he kind of just starts walking towards the edge i don't know why but come on rattles you got this you got this you use projectiles just throw them stand still yeah there we go keep doing it oh you're getting too close to the rat So I got a little bonus fight here. What I would like to call a thumbnail matchup. Boom. These guys, no matter who wins this, it doesn't matter. They're just going to be in the thumbnail. So you guys can't be like, hey, they weren't in the thumbnail because y'all motherfuckers like to be annoying about it. I, don't, I keep pointing at something like I have a camera that I'm pointing at, but uh, you'll never know. See, you wouldn't know that I was pointing if I didn't tell you I was pointing. The Truffle, you know, my favorite looking NPC, not exactly the greatest fighter. I guess it's just, I don't know, the weird way he summons in his mushrooms. I feel like his uh, mushrooms or spores, whatever you want to call them. I feel like they're more of uh, taller mob killers. I mean, he put up a pretty decent fight, but look, he put it underneath the platform and then he put it over the guy. It's like, come on, bro. So we got a matchup here that that could get really interesting, but obviously I think the, the modded NPCs are a little bit better than vanilla ones. And uh, I don't know, let's see, Cyborg versus the Cobbler. Let's see this before we get to our matchup of the Weapon Master against the uh, guide. And looking even so far, if the, the Cyborg can just hit those, he would be doing great. Oh, one more rocket. And he might, oh my god, uh, yet again, the cobbler is floating. I, is he allowed to do that? 100% my favorite contender so far has been the cyborg. He is just a competitive soul, and uh, I kind of wish we saw him in the finals, but I don't know, we, he might win against the cobbler. Let's see, three, two, one, begin. Oh man, oh, he's hitting himself. He's hitting himself, that is not a good start. That, oh my god he clutches it oh my god the cyborg says i want to be in the finals game raiders all right the cyborg has shown that he is a fierce competitor but the cobbler did not just make it here easy he did take out the diver man who does have really strong attacks but let's see who's going to the finals here boom the final round against these two cyborgs starting off very very weak but if he does what he did last time and he does and he does the cyborg ladies and gentlemen we might have us a winner you know this is kind of an unfair matchup but we only have rattles to blame because rattles is supposed to be in this spot versus a projectile user but oh well stylus i guess you're stuck with this so what we're gonna do if obviously the weapon master is gonna win but if you know somehow the stylus win should go on to the finals and get destroyed by the cyborg but if the uh, weapon master wins we'll put him against the guide which was the bonus and uh, if he beats the guide he'll go to the finals obviously i think he's going to the finals either way he's a modded npc but i don't know the cyborg showed that being a modded npc doesn't give you just a special pass to the end as the cyborg has shown but i don't know let's do it maybe she'll win i i don't i don't i don't think she will unless the weapon master kills himself but the stylist would have to at least get one hit off for that to happen i don't know though is he's kind of he might kill himself he killed himself <laughs> what the fuck see now i'm just confused like who's gonna win this i hope the weapon master wins that'd be a more interesting okay 
Okay, you know, that's a that's a pretty dominant performance right there from the Weapon Master. Knocking him off in the seconds, just like he did to the Dryad Druid Druid. All right, here we go. The final matchup, round three. I didn't expect to be here, but the Weapon Master, if he wants to kill himself, he could kill himself. Oh, starting off with a very heavy hit on himself. He's missing more. Oh, literally does the same exact thing that he did to the Druid. Again, to the Stylus. Again, that's twice he did that to the Stylus. Weapon Master, you're going against the God. Let us begin our bonus matchup here. Our bonus bonus matchup, or I guess regular matchup because you know this is kind of like a tag team for the stylus whatever doesn't matter guide versus weapon master i honestly think the weapon master is gonna win and uh i kind of want the guide to win i don't know i feel like the guide uh even though he is kind of weaker he he's got willpower and there he goes he was so close to taking that round too if the pitchforks that the weapon master shot out didn't do so much knockback he probably would have won that i'm thinking at this point though if the weapon master wins he's defeated three people so he honestly deserves to go to the finals but let's do it maybe the final round versus the weapon master and the guide but if the guide pulls this out then we might see the guide in the finals i don't know three two one begin the battle the guide starting off strong with that shot he has to get away from the edge he has to chase chase him down get away from that edge and chase his ass down he's gonna kill himself nice good job guy he was able to outlast the weapon master's barrage and he stayed away from the edge very very smart play by the guy this is anyone's game whoever wins deserves to go to the finals no matter what three two one begin the last round the guide starting off not so hot didn't even get a shot off yet the weapon master though doing a lot of damage to himself the guide can take it and the guide who would have thought he almost fell off right there too look at the health the guide has persevered over another modded npc it's insane the vanilla npcs are taking over here we are in the final matchup the guide versus the cyborg two vanilla npcs going head to head who would have seen it coming but let's begin the fight in three two one battle now both of these npcs have shown that they are very fierce competitors the guy taking down modded a modded npc one of the best ones in this competition but the cyborg showing that he can activate his kill mode whenever he wants let's see who's gonna win the guy needs to arc those arrows a little bit better if he wants to win this oh not looking good not looking good i think one more hit and the guide is out gg to the cyborg taking the first match the guide he could have had it if he arced those arrows that was what like three to four arrows he missed so let us just hop straight in to the second match this may be the final match let's do it three two one battle now i expect the guy to come out swinging to come out swinging this time with those arrows Come on, guide. You need to arc those arrows. The guide also needs to stay away from the edge. Ooh, you seen the juke from the cyborg. The guide also needs... You saw the juke. Oh, my God. And that is the end right there. That is is the end to the npc 1v1 battle arena whatever you want to call this smash bros no homo congratulations to the cyborg him and the guide are actually both going to the npc olympics because if you guys remember i'm taking the top two from each competition and they're going to the npc olympics just to have more npcs because if we only took the top one or the the winner of it all there would only be four npcs in the olympics and we want at least eight so there's some competition but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the npc combat mod it's actually Actually really cool you can like change all the settings for your npcs for example you can give them more health you can raise their attack damage you can change your defense you can do all that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed we got one more npc olympic contention round and then we're going to the npc olympics hey make sure if you're also watching this to uh drop a sub to my second channel vod raiders 101 that's where i post my full tutorial playthroughs and live streams at check it out all right i'll see you next time